So what are we doing? We're building a new version of the genome uh, in which we can shuffle it. So think of the genome as a deck of 5,000 cards. There are approximately 5,000 uh, genes in yeast that we can shuffle. And um, what, what this genome can do that the normal uh, SC 1.0, which would be the natural uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, uh, is it can, on, on command, rearrange its genome to produce all different decks of cards of those 5,000 cards. Some of those 5,000 cards might be a perfect hand for T-knuckle, some might be a perfect hand for poker, and so on. And so we think that this will have a lot of practical applications in terms of uh, allowing us to develop yeasts that are particularly good uh, at particular processes, and also, we hope, uh, tell us a lot about how genomes are organized. Okay, so uh, the goals of our course uh, in this are uh, we have free labor from the undergraduates, so that helps us make DNA more cheaply. Uh, they get a fantastic lab experience. They get exposed to cutting edge research, develop independence, and build the starting material for our project. Um, I see that I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna just uh, rush through this, but we, we do uh, stress uh, bioethics and economics side of this, as well as the scientific side. Uh, we put them through a boot camp, in which they master their lab technique and meet certain milestones. And then when they do that successfully, we give them a key to the lab. They have 24-7 access. Uh, they have uh, uh, regular lab meetings, uh, just like in graduate school. Uh, and they also have milestones, like a biotech company. So here's a chromosome that was made in a 12-month period. All, all the pieces, uh, most of them anyway, uh, uh, by this class. <coughs> we now have over 100 graduates, and um, it's, it's been, for me, uh, the most fun educational experience I've had uh, since I've been at Hopkins. So, um, in summary, uh, for the future of genomics, we're, we're going to have an amazing challenge in this meteoric rise in acquisition of basic knowledge. Uh, we think it'll be the foundation of individualized medicine. Uh, it's going to require an interdisciplinary workforce, and I think the ability to write as well as read DNA uh, will revolutionize genomics. Thank you.